Hello again, Hannibal TV. And I've always known that the word fan is short for uh, fanatic. And when it comes to cage fighting and MMA, as they call it now, fans have always largely been a gaggle of minuscule minded and miscreants. But this takes the cake. I'm not so surprised about the fans, but I'm shocked at how friends of mine like Pat Militich are defending Cain Velasquez, former UFC world champion, and uh, had a cup of coffee in the WWE. Cain Velasquez shot up car with multiple passengers in a drive-by shooting and I'm seeing so many posts from Dana White on down to these fans and fighters defending Kane saying they would have done the same thing if they were in his circumstances what you would have shot up a car in a drive-by with multiple passengers stray bullets hitting innocent bystander? Are you kidding me? It's insane. And they're going to have a rude awakening. Because if the reason given was that Kane targeted this individual because he suspected he had molested someone in his family or he'd been arrested for a, a, a rest, for molesting someone in his family or whatever it is, if that's not a front story for a gang hit and that's the reality, then it's worse for Cain because that shows premeditation and his charges will be even more severe. He's going he's gonna to likely get a plea here, but he's going to do some serious, serious time. Now think about it. I'm a gun owner. I'm a big believer in gun safety. Drive-by shootings are disgusting. They're despicable. Street thug gang activity is disgusting. It's despicable. And if I was a passenger in that car the cane was shooting at, I would have ducked down, I would have reached in, I would have pulled out my 380, and I would have blown Kane's head off. And I would have been completely justified because it would be self-defense. You're shooting at a car with multiple passengers. Disgusting. Cain Velasquez and his fans are in for a rude awakening. Adios, Senor Velasquez.